Showtime's horror drama Penny Dreadful dropped its biggest twist during its season 3 finale, The Blessed Dark. The series was over. While the show is still having its last rights read, let's investigate the potentially spoiler-filled mystery of why it had to end. Declining Viewership The last season of Penny Dreadful was not a ratings juggernaut, clocking in at number 6 among Showtime's 10 original shows, behind Billions and The Affair. Viewership had dropped over 5% compared to the previous year. While other shows had fewer viewers, Penny Dreadful's elaborate settings and special effects made it far more expensive to produce. A cult following just wasn't enough. A little over half a million people watched the series finale live. Money Like most TV cancellations, money was likely a large factor in Showtime's decision to give Penny Dreadful the axe. It happened to plenty of other fan-favorite shows over the years, Firefly, Hannibal, Constantine, and Dollhouse among them. Despite featuring public domain characters like Dracula, Dr. Jekyll, Frankenstein's monster, and Dorian Gray, the price of bringing this many monsters to the screen couldn't have been cheap. Vanessa Ives' Departure Despite all the interesting characters she's met over the past three years, Penny Dreadful is a tale about Vanessa Ives. The series ended with her finally finding peace, and while we'll never see her tangle with the creature or Dorian Gray again, this sudden ending is how it was planned. I see. Showtime CEO David Nevin said to Entertainment Weekly, I always knew it wasn't going to be a really long-running show. John Logan made that clear coming in. While there are plenty of tales you could tell without her in this dark world, Ives was the focal point of this show, and we couldn't imagine it continuing without her. Remember how the X-Files felt without Mulder? Gross. More monsters. Without Vanessa Ives, Penny Dreadful is pretty much just a bunch of 19th century ghouls. If that's your thing, you'll be seeing a lot more of them soon. Universal Pictures is launching its own set of films featuring the most classic of movie monsters. The series began with Dracula Untold in 2014. Meanwhile, the Mummy reboot starring Tom Cruise is scheduled for 2017. Don't be surprised if TV executives try bringing Frank, Drac, and the whole monster squad back to capitalize on Hollywood digging them up from their graves. It was foretold. There are various reasons why Penny Dreadful was canceled, but we're going to have to go with show creator John Logan's explanation. Apparently, he knew this was how the series would end from the very beginning, but the cast found out halfway through filming season two. In Logan's own words, Penny Dreadful was always intended to go for three years exactly, so I think we've told our story well, and thank you for all your support and hanging in there with us. All good things come to an end. Sorry, Game of Thrones fans, you too will know this sting. We're sure you'll see most of these characters in other forms soon enough, though. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know what you'll miss the most about Penny Dreadful.